Hey everyone, I'm Michael, and this is another episode in my series, A Plant a Week. In this series, I talk about various houseplants. I highlight one for the whole video, talking about how to properly care for it, how to water it, how to propagate it, everything that you need to know to keep your plant healthy and happy. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about this little cute bambino. Is bambino Italian? Sure sounds Italian. This plant is Ficus lyrata bambino, commonly known as the dwarf fiddly fig. It's native to Africa, where it grows in lowland tropical rainforests. In the last few years, the fiddly fig has become one of the most popular and sought after indoor house plants. In my own collection, all of my fiddly figs are some of my favorite plants. I have three regular sized fiddly figs and one bambino. Everyone's familiar with the fiddly fig, but the bambino is a dwarf variety of the same plant characterized by smaller, more compact leaves and a maximum height of about a meter, much smaller than its big leafed brother. Despite the size difference, the care is basically the same. Fiddle leaf figs need a well-draining soil to thrive. I keep mine in a one-to-one -one mixture of potting soil and orchid bark, which might seem a little extreme, but it really works well with my fiddle leaf figs. You should never have your fiddle leaf fig in a pot without a drainage hole, as it's super easy to overwater these guys and give them root rot. I've had issues with root rot on a few of my regular sized fiddle leaf figs in the past and had to uproot one of them and take all the dead roots off, but so far this little bambino has done pretty well for me. As for watering, I tend to water it about once a week, but if the soil is still moist, I hold off for a couple more days. Or, as sometimes happens in the growing season, it might need more frequent waterings as it starts to push out new growth. Fiddly figs also need a lot of bright light. It can survive in direct to filtered light as long as the light it is getting is bright. They also tend to deteriorate fast in dimmer lighting. That being said, you don't want to constantly move this plant around to different places trying to find the best spot because they don't like to be moved very often and might drop leaves if they're moved too much. Find a nice sunny spot and just leave it there. As for fertilizing, I fertilize mine once a month during the spring and about twice a month in the summer. I use an organic fiddly fig specific fertilizer that I purchased off Amazon and I've found that when using this fiddly fig specific fertilizer, it often leads to new growth. If you leave your fiddly fig alone to grow unpruned, it will grow straight up in one stalk. To force this plant to branch, there are two tricks you can try. The easiest is to chop off the top. This will force the plant to push out usually two new branches at the cut. Another way to force branch growth is to notch. To do this, make a small cut into the trunk just above a bud of an existing leaf and this will trick the plant into creating a branch at this point. This method doesn't always work though and can be hazardous on smaller trees as I learned on one of my thinner fiddle leaf figs. Fiddle leaf figs are susceptible to common pests like mites or mealybugs, but it's rare that you'll see them on your fiddle leaf figs, they're very pest hardy. And if you do, you can just get some insecticidal soap and spray it down. Definitely a show plant, the fiddle leaf fig is great for its large, unique foliage and potential for growth and size. While the bambino may not be as big as the regular fiddle leaf fig, it still gives off that fiddle leaf fig vibe while being a little more compact and cute. It might not be the easiest plant to care for and requires more maintenance than some other indoor house plants, but it definitely makes up for that in character. Thanks again for watching! Remember to like and subscribe for similar content. On Mondays, I post videos about house plants. And on Fridays, I also post videos about houseplants and reading, writing, photography, art, and any other generic interests of mine. As always, you can find my social media links in the description below. Also, you can find links to h, h Games, the board game company I've helped create, and our debut board game, Season of Heroes. You can also find the Amazon links to my fantasy series, A Chronicle of Crowns. Thanks for watching. Bye!